This multi-talented star, who wrote and directed the critically acclaimed Lady Bird, is bound to be the talk of the Oscars in 2018. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 5 facts about Greta Gerwig. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most interesting and little known facts about the actress and director. You were almost on a CBS sitcom, we were almost co workers. Yes, we were almost in the same CBS family. Number 5. Her breakout movie was No Strings Attached. If you do recognize Greta Gerwig, it's because she got her start in the industry as an actress and has taken on roles in both indie flicks and mainstream films. I don't understand what you're. What are you asking? The movie that helped propel her into becoming a more prominent figure was the sexy rom com No Strings Attached, starring Natalie Portman and Ashton Kutcher. Gerwig played Patrice, a medical resident who is the female lead's roommate. It was this role which primed Gerwig to star in a rom com of her very own, Lola vs., which was released the following year. I don't know what to say. You didn't want me or us or any of it. Number four, she personally wrote to the artists whose music appeared in Lady Bird. Gerwig's Lady Bird is set in 2002, and the film's soundtrack is perfectly nostalgic for anyone who went to high school at the same time as the titular character. I do feel like these songs were very. They kind of had to be those songs. Yes, they had to. I had written them into the script. Gerwig went out of her way to ensure she was able to use her favorite songs in this semi autobiographical film by contacting the artists directly. You wrote Dave Matthews. Yes. And um, obviously, you've moved on. I like that you moved on from uh, yeah. uh, cassettes to CDs. In her note to Justin Timberlake when requesting the use of Cry Me a River, she said, quote, I remember being in the cafeteria at lunch, and someone played it for me on their discman, and I wanted to hear it again, right away, and as loud as possible. And then it just gets worse. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I pretty yeah. much wouldn't be an adult without you. That's yeah. the <laughs> nicest thing you could say to anyone. How could he say no to that? Number three, she was rejected from playwriting master's programs. One person's coming of age is another person's letting go. And it's, it's, it's really funny, but it will also make you cry and call your mom. Considering her recent success, with Lady Bird winning Best Motion Picture, Musical or Comedy at the Golden Globes, and being nominated for a whopping five Oscars, you'll be surprised to learn that Gerwig's rise to success wasn't without many challenges. Gerwig wanted to become a playwright, but when she applied to Masters of Fine Arts programs in playwriting, she was rejected from every program she applied to. We do wonder what those admissions people are thinking now. I like things that look like mistakes. Number two, she didn't study film. I felt like because I didn't go to proper film school, I felt like I needed to get time under my belt working as a producer and as a writer. Just like the character Lady Bird, Greta Gerwig grew up in Sacramento, California. I hate California. I want to go to the East Coast. I want to go where culture is, but like how New in the York, world did I raise such or at least snob. Connecticut or New Hampshire, well, where writers live in the get woods. Into those schools anyway. She went to a strict Catholic school, with high hopes of studying musical theater in New York. I had a mythology associated with New York that mm. was, um, it, I, I didn't have a particular reason for it other than I thought, that's where you go. But that didn't exactly pan out. She ended up doing English Lit and Philosophy at Barnard College. She was always interested in performance, however, and took on small acting roles in a variety of productions. She ultimately made a name for herself in the Mumblecore movement, where films are made on a low budget and often feature non-professional actors. When I said I was going to direct, I had a moment of, you've always wanted to do it, now it's time to just jump. Number one, she's a member of a very exclusive club. When the Academy Award nominations were announced in 2018, Greta Gerwig joined a very small list of women who have been honored with a nomination in the Best Director category. Gerwig joins Lena Wertmüller, Jane Campion, Sofia Coppola, and Catherine Bigelow. The latter is the only woman to have ever actually taken home the statue. If Gerwig becomes the second winner, she will also be the youngest woman to hold the honor. Not to mention that Lady Bird was also nominated for Best Picture and Best Original Screenplay, along with its acting nominations. And it's her first time ever directing. How impressive is that? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.